Hey and welcome back to Mommy Hates Cooking. Today I'm going to show you how to make these easy slow cooker barbecue ribs. You can make them in your Ninja Foodie 2 using the slow cooker function. These are so simple to make, a great way to make them as an alternative to smoking them outside if maybe you don't have a smoker or you can't do that for any particular reason. This is a great way to do them. All you need is a rack of ribs, either baby back or spare ribs, a fourth a cup of brown sugar, a cup of barbecue sauce, a fourth a teaspoon of liquid smoke, and a teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce. So that is going to be all that you need to make these. And the first thing you're gonna wanna do is go ahead and grab your rack of ribs, and then you're gonna trim off the membrane or any of the excess that's on the usually on the bottom of the ribs. So we've trimmed these up, and then we're gonna get ready to cut them to fit into our slow cooker. But first you're going to go ahead and coat them evenly with that brown sugar. So do that first. I like to just rub it all in so that it kind of soaks into the ribs and you can do front and back. And then we're gonna cut those in half just to fit in your slow cooker. So you want to go ahead and cut those to fit whatever size slow cooker you are using. You may need to cut them in three pieces if you have a different size slow cooker than I'm using. But then after you do that, you're gonna grab a small dish and combine the barbecue sauce, liquid smoke, and Worcestershire sauce. And then you're gonna just brush this evenly over the ribs. So I've brushed that all on. You wanna get underneath the parts where they're kind of stuck together there and make sure all of that is brushed in so that they're nice and coated. So then you're gonna cover them and cook them on low for six hours. So I've got these all cooked now. Um, you want them to be well over 165 degrees Fahrenheit, so they should be pushing like 190. Um, that just kind of makes them fall apart easily. So you're gonna go ahead and carefully remove them, and like we like to add more sauce before serving just to get them nice and full of that barbecue flavor, so we're brushing more sauce on, and then we just cut them up and serve them. The meat will be super tender, so as you can see here, it falls right off the bone, and you can go ahead and serve those on a platter with your favorite beans or coleslaw or whatever barbecue fixings you prefer. But this is a great alternative to making them on the smoker. We like to do this if we're in a hurry or if we're not gonna be home for the day and we need a quick dinner. It's a great way to do it. And you can easily use leftover barbecue condiments and different things that you might have on hand as well for side items. So you can find this full recipe over on mommyhatescooking.com. Hope you enjoyed learning how to make slow cooker barbecue ribs. Thanks so much for tuning in today.